Hello, Robert here, coming to you from the Fisher Dream destination Camp Onka. In this little video, I'm going to show you what gear I recommend for the salmon fishing that we do here. Uh, I'm going to try to do like a basic setup that will cover most fishing that we do in this river. The deep holes are maybe like two meters or so, and it's often in these little bit deeper holes that we catch the salmon. So even though it's a big river, some of these holes are very near the shoreline. So you don't need to be an expert to cast. Of course, you can reach some crazy far out holes if you're good at casting. Uh, but a lot of it in salmon fishing comes down to if you have the right setup, it will be a lot easier to be able to reach a little bit further as well, or to enjoy your time at the water. So. Uh, the rod that I'm using is a 14.8 foot rod. It's a Vision XO. And on that I have a sturdy reel. This is an XLB. It's in the biggest size. So it's plenty enough room of backing. I have this reel loaded with the first backing. And then I have a thick nylon line that can work perfectly as a shooting line. On top of that, I have the Vision hybrid line. With that you change the tips and that's often enough for, for fishing this river that you change from different tips. So you can fish an intermediate tip or a floating tip or like, a, like in this instance what I'm fishing with right now is this floating belly and the tip that is intermediate to sink to. So I get down a little bit. So I'll write the, uh, the, the grams of the, what head I use and what tips I use down in the video description, so you can check that out. What I connect after the tapered tip is actually a straight mono leader. So this is 040, straight from the spool, that I pulled, tied on about two meters of length. That actually works pretty well. I like to have that without any knots and anything, straight to the fly, and uh, a, a straight piece of nylon is easy to change, so you always have a fresh one. Uh, you can of course use a taper leader that you, you tie on as well, but I'll just here show you what I'm using. At the moment I'm using a tube fly and a piece of tube and a treble hook right there. With this setup, as I mentioned, I have a 0.70 uh, nylon, green nylon line underneath here that I can use as a running line. So. I have the option to peel off this hybrid line and tie on, for example, an ace shooting head. I fished with that yesterday, ace shooting head in, in sink three. That's something I do sometimes as well. The way I see it, yes, you can definitely come around with using this as your only setup in this river. It's very comfortable, of course, if you have two rods. So if you change to a pool that is a little bit deeper or a little bit faster water, you can take your other rod out that you have another line on. Uh, but often it can be nice to have a little break sometimes as well from the casting and uh, change the tip, for example, for the hybrid line. I think this is a brilliant setup for this salmon fishing here. That's been it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will leave a link to another setup guide we did for the migrating brown trout fishing we do in Amanas. And, uh, Please subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. Now I'm gonna head out and do some fishing here. See you.